Hello and welcome. I'm Coily and this is This War of Mine. Now I've played a lot of this game and I absolutely love it. I'm not particularly great at it, so let's see how we go. Right, I'm not going to continue my other story because I can't remember what it is. So another try. As you can see, I've unlocked all the characters and the only one I've ever actually played a lot of is Marco and my record is 27 days. So we're going to see if we can beat that on Marco because I don't like 27 days I want to make 40 days I want to beat the game so let's see if we can do that so Marco here we go yes yes I'm sure about that thank you very much here we go loading screen day one in Marco's house here we go absolutely love the art style on this it's absolutely beautiful game so simply done but absolutely love it come on hurry up let's go there it there he is there's Marco standing by the fridge which is empty a bit like the fridge in my house my children seem to eat everything right come on let's go let's see how's a bit of a wreck also a bit like my house I have children and a cat and the cat wrecks it more than the children does actually thinking about it okay affected by years of siege the city of Porgorin I'm sorry if that's pronounced wrong is slowly dying all the services except for electricity are gone and both food and water are scarce until recently this neighborhood neighborhood has been relatively intact and people have been have still I can't read today good grief and people still have some valuables on them Unfortunately, this also attracts the gangs. Firefighter Marco was fighting a losing battle with blazes until his fire station got destroyed and most of his team buddies perished. With his family safe in the countryside, he moved into an abandoned house to gather his wits and decide what to do next. Okay, let's go. Right, basically this game is a survival type game. You have to collect materials so you can build stuff. So I'm going to start by collecting materials. So we can have a look through this little, little cabinet here. And we've got building, parts, and electric parts. Okay, there we go, pile of junk here. Let's see what's in here. Good old search. Let's have a look. Right, we've got raw food, that's good, but you need to eat, to eat herbs. Okay, more of those, some water and some planks of wood. We'll just grab all of those. Okay, and uh, what's in this wardrobe? Let's have a look. We've got a lockpick and more crafty type stuff. Okay, let's unbarricade this door. And search the rest of the stuff. Go. Let's search this pile of rubble. What have we got here? Let's see. Uh, more food, more herbs, and building stuff. And this wardrobe. Let's see. We've got more herbs and building type stuff and some water. Okay, right, let's go down here. Because this is my builder's bench. Let's go. Why don't you take the stairs? You strange man. The stairs there. Let's see what I've got enough to build. Right. I'm going to build a workshop. That's where you make tools and stuff. So I should build one of those. I'll put that in the same room as this. Let's place that there. And build that. And then we can see if we can make some tools which will be useful for scavenging the rest of the stuff in the house. Right, come on, build faster. There we go. The main problem I have with this game, absolutely love it, but I tend to get a bit reckless after I've been doing it for a few few days, so then I end up getting shot, which isn't great. Let's see what tools I can build. Okay, spade, a crowbar, I'm going to go for one of the crowbar. 
because then I, can, I don't need to use lock picks for the doors. And then I will also, if I've got enough, when he finishes making this, make a spade and maybe a bed if I've got enough stuff left. Maybe not. Did I yet? Might make the bed when I get back. Because at night, you go out foraging for stuff. So we will see. Okay. So, I've forgotten what I, What did I just make? My, th my memory. I made a crowbar. I, my memory is terrible. So, make a shovel this time. Let's make that and then see if I've got enough to make a bed. Right, come on. Now you can upgrade these, the benches and things, so you can make better items. So you can upgrade the tools thing to make an axe and things like that. Which is useful because you can chop up all the furniture in the house for wood and firewood and things. Right, there's that. Have I got enough to make my bed as well? Let's have a look. Yes, I have. So I'll make a bed. I'm not going to sleep in that room. I'm going to sleep up here, I think. This is my bedroom. The nice mirror there. Yes. There we go. Right. Run. Because I'm too impatient to wait for you to walk there. Let's build the bed. And then I'll start clearing some of this stuff until I have to go out foraging for more stuff. Now, I always find that food is quite an issue on this, so I tend to, not on the first night, but on subsequent nights, if I've got food, especially tinned food, I will take it with me when I go foraging. So if people raid my house, I don't lose my food, so I don't starve. Okay, there's that. Let's go up here and start clearing from the top down. And again, he does the weird shortcut through the hole in the ceiling. Okay. Personally, I'd just walk up the stairs, but never mind. Right. Crowbar the door. And then we'll dig through the pile of rubble. When he's crowbarred the door. There we go. Dig through the rubble. Yes, it is much easier with my shovel. Indeed it is. Imagine digging through these piles of junk with your bare hands. That would not be good for the fingernails. Okay, and there we crowbar this cupboard. I'm keeping the lockpick because I'll take that on a one of my night forays into out into the town. There we go, and we search the cupboard. Let's see what exciting things we get. We get oh, oh, a book. I got some book. I got a book to read. That's nice. I'll grab all that. Let's go this way. Get the rest of the top floor. The, the, the shovel is doing a good job. Yep, of course it is. That's why I made it. Okay, dig through that side of the rubble. You get, um, as you get further on in the game, you can uh, an upgrade your workbench and things. You get to barricade some of the windows and things so you don't have a draft. So it makes the house safer and things. Which I will do eventually. First of all, I've got to sort of think about food and tools and stuff like that. So, what's in this cupboard? Ah, we have valuables. Or jewellery. And some more herbs. Okay, what's the time? It's half past six in the evening. Let's see what else we can do. Let's go and start clearing this out. I think it's eight o'clock. I'll be going out to start scavenging in the town. So, but yeah. So, we'll just clear the pile. Yes, I know you're glad you have the shovel. We'll clear the pile of junk and see what the time is once we're done. We might have time to grab this. Mm, maybe not. No, I don't think we will. No, we won't. So, now it comes to 8pm the night. Okay, right, so I'm going to be going off to scavenge. Okay, and the first place I'm going to go to, because click on them, it's like the ruined block of flats, it's got lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some etc etc. It's the garage, it's caution advised there, and a decrepit squat. Huge amounts, yeah. So I'm going to go to the ruined block of flats. That's where I'm going first, so I'm going to prepare. 
What should I take with me? I'm not actually going to take anything with me this time. I'm just going to remember what I need to get into places. Because sometimes you'll need a crowbar, sometimes you'll need a saw to saw through grates and things. So let's go scavenge. Let's have a look. It's loading. Here we are. Welcome. Right. Let's start searching the piles of junk for good stuff. Here we go. What's in this one? We got more food and some building materials. Okay, we'll take all that. Let's go up here. Let's have a look what's on this so in this living room here. Let's have a look. Oh, more building stuff. Okay. Well, let's have a look at that. The baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab, well worn by baby teeth. A feeding bottle half full, a congealed mass that was probably a baby formula. Someone must have left in a terrible rush. Or maybe didn't need them. Didn't need them anymore. Ooh, that's a bit ominous, isn't it? Didn't like that. Right, let's carry on searching. Okay, now we've got some coffee and some a roll-up cigarette, some fertilizer. Ah, these are weapon parts. They're useful for making uh, things like uh, saws and stuff. Right, let's check this room. See what we've got, and then we'll head on upstairs. Ah, more food. There, what's that? That's shell casings for making ammo for guns and stuff. So we take the food. Right, now we're having trouble fitting everything in. Uh, what should we get rid of? We won't take the coffee yet or the cigarette. Let's take these. Right, there we go. Right, what else have we got? Basically what I'll do is I'll take all the stuff that I need first and then come back later to pick up all the junk. Here we go, what we got here. We can pick those up. I'm going to pick that up, and that. Not taking the book. Pick that up. I don't need, I haven't got a gun to put it in, so there's no point taking that. Right, let's have a look upstairs. See what we need. Okay, let's have a hunt here. Digging through the rubbish. There's more food. Don't need that. That's gunpowder, again, for making ammunition. Okay. Let's just top that up so that's a full stack. Right, we need a saw to get through there. So let's go upstairs. We need a saw to get through. There's two saws you need in this place. I must remember that. Let's search through this pile of junk. What have we got here? Nothing more interesting. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the fertilizer. I don't need the fertilizer at the moment. And I'll take more of those with me. Okay, so this is what I'm going to take home with me today. Got more food and weapon parts and stuff so exit so and now i'm going to run to the exit Gotta remember two saws to go to the ab abandoned apartment block okay so um off i run and we'll move on to the next day